Hey everybody, welcome back to Womb Wednesday. I am so happy to have you. If you don't know me, my name is Remy. I am a psychic healer, lawyer, and medium. I don't practice law anymore, but here I am as your spiritual life coach and guide through Source Energy. We are gonna be getting some messages from your spirit babies today and your spirit team. And what this video entails, if it's your first time watching, are generally messages that may be holding you back right now in terms of conception or if you are soon going to be conceiving or you're thinking about it, these are the energies to pay attention to, okay? Sometimes the messages can be a little bit harsh, but it's all about clearing our subconscious mind as well as ensuring that our sacral chakra, which is our womb space, ends up remaining clear. The reason why that's important is because your baby needs a soft landing spot and a place that really doesn't have too much resistance. And the reason for that is because these babies that are coming are so conscious. They've been on earth many, many times. They are the epitome of an indigo child, which is just those spirit, spiritual conscious children that um, deserve to have the world and you deserve to have them. So usually I start off with my shadow and light oracle, the archetypes, but today I am going to be using my tarot deck. If you want one of these, you can get it via the link in my bio. So let's see, what are the men, the mineral themes? <laughs> well, maybe men are the general theme today, yet again, as they were last week. Last week's theme was letting go of relationships that are unaligned for you. I've talked about that a couple of times because sometimes you're going to get pregnant faster in a new right relationship than with the wrong man, two of swords. The stained glass window, I can't talk today, throat chakra, okay? The stained glass windows are giving me that um, rose colored glasses vibe and the illusion. So you know when you look through the stained glass window, you can't see clearly through the other side. So some of you are still in this fog, you're trying to figure out what you want to do. Some of you are in abusive relationships. Um, and that's difficult because you naturally don't want to be right why would you want to be in that sort of scenario and your guides are asking you to keep an eye out nine of pentacles yeah because this journey you've been on even if you don't realize it it has been a treacherous one and you've been alone on it so i want to hold space for you all just for a moment the ones that are resonating with this and every womb wednesday may not resonate with you or perhaps this section won't but you'll know you guys have been on this journey alone and it's been a, a struggle and how you're probably looking at it is glass half full of oh I've already made it this far I should just keep on going which makes sense but for some of you there's a completion for some of you, there is pregnancy. For some of you, you're going to have a baby and you may split later. For some of you, this is going to be happiness. But what your guides are really getting your attention toward, we have the magician and we have the nine of cups. What they're getting your attention towards is being happy individually on your own. The magician is like the manifester on the other side can be the manipulator so perhaps you're trying to manifest more and the person around you is very manipulative if it's rules reversed you won't be watching this video most likely even though you may have some of those traits right the nine of cups is is the empowerment we have two nines here two cards of being single nine of cups and nine of pentacles some of you may be feeling discouraged in your pursuit of finding love and having happiness but love is all around you. Look out for crows, but also you are going to manifest it. And for others, it is a call to become single so that you can align with your true destiny, so you can align with your true person. Ace of Cups. I do sense a strong masculine energy and presence around some of you. The sun wanted to come out in the lovers, so you're in alignment but there could be some intergenerational patterns of trauma coming up. So let's see, what is this trauma that's coming up for people? Oh, maybe it's coming from a broken home and you have the fear that that is going to be what repeats. So you may be in a healthy relationship and then you're like, I can hear somebody saying, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Like you may be in a healthy relationship, but 
you have this constant need to sabotage it. That's where this magician energy comes in. So you have an awareness and you want to know why or you want to know what's holding you back. So temperance is seeing things from a bigger perspective. Know that whatever you are challenged with right now and whatever you are working through is something that you are healing for the next generation. So they're not going to go through the same stuff you're going through. They're not going to go through the same um, turmoil and hardship. So that's something to keep in mind. It's five of swords that wants to come out. That's like the deceitful energy. That's the headache. That's the constant worry, anguish, struggle. So you're not going to have to worry about that. You're not going to be in the scenario of having to do the BS all the time. Five of cups and three of cups. Do the BS as in like live with that in the future. The five of cups and the three of cups. So three of cups is celebration. For some of you, you have a lot of spirit babies around you. Your spirit team is congratulating you for all of the hard work you've done. For some of you, it looks like around October or November could be the time where you get some good news or you start to feel more hopeful about it. Perhaps you're consistently watching the videos um, or you're an existing client as well. If you want to work with me, you can via my description. Um, so you, you're working in a way of you know, resilience and perseverance. I also have a three month fertility healing program where we do six coaching calls. We do activities, journaling, meditation, and we have instant messaging to help you in a really concentrated period of time, start clearing those beliefs. And of course your actions in maintaining those new belief systems is going to be really important. Okay. The five of cups is also showing up. And I don't know if you know this about flamingos, but after they give birth or when they've exerted a lot of energy, that's when they lose their color. So when you see a flamingo that's lighter in color and not bright pink, they are low on energy or they've just given birth. When they start to regain their energy is when they regain their, I was going to say their consciousness, but their pink vibrant, vibrant color. So for some of you, there's a theme of um, the fear of postpartum again, totally natural. Or that could have even been in a past life and you're carrying the energy into a present life. For some of you, it's, oh, I've already been through this. And while I love my child, I didn't like that experience. For some of you, it's, um, you know, you're coming in it with, into it with a lack mindset. So showing yourself kindness is going to be crucial at this point we have the six of swords and we have the eight of pentacles so doing this work on yourself is going to allow you to move forward you're on an individual journey this doesn't mean that in partnership you're alone necessarily like i was saying earlier but the internal work is an individual journey and it's going to inform you acting differently in your physical circumstances right and here we have coming out the king of pentacles so perhaps with your partner the ace of wands Teamwork is required, but some of it is holding you back with the Seven of Pentacles. You intuitively know what this is, and perhaps you've been in a situation already with someone in your life that, ha you know, they've told you, hey, this is, um, you know, your mentality is not healthy, or hey, this is not working out, or this is, um, you know, you're causing a lot of anxiety, or, you know, like, it could be anything to do with that. And you're, you're starting to see that mentality within yourself. And in the next couple of months with the Justice card, Libra season, which starts in September, but I'm really sensing more October, November, like I was saying before, you're going to start to see that progress. You're going to start to see the balancing of the scales in terms of the karma in your life and more understanding why you've had to go through hardship and why you've had to go through those struggles. Okay, I'm going to grab a couple of cards from my energy oracle to see what else would like to come through. All right, what would like to come through? What would like to come through in the energy oracle here? <laughs> Strategy coming out right away. Some of you are overthinking this. The overthinking causes resistance. Your baby wants to come into a calm, peaceful environment, not one that is dictated and controlled. They want to come into a loving environment. And it's not that you don't already have that or you won't create that, 
But when you have a struggle in getting pregnant and you've had a fertility, um, when you had maybe infertility or you waited a long time, right? You're going to want to make sure that everything in your life remains in your control. You're going to want to make sure everything is balanced. And while you can do that, and that's great, that's healthy, right? Like you want to have a balanced environment. You guys are becoming overbearing a little bit. Thought chakra wanted to come in reverse here. Fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. Um, there's there's too many boundaries. Because when a child comes, they're going to have their own way of doing things. And every child is going to be different, even if they're identical twins. Every child is going to be different. They're going to have their own individual energy. And your guides are going to say, well, and they're your guides. They're going to be like, yeah, patience in reverse as well. Like, you need to have patience to be a parent and you're causing us stress and we're not even here. And as I was saying, they are conscious children. They are not going to come and land right now into an environment that is chaotic because they've already been here enough times to work through the life lessons and karma that like they've already experienced all of that. And they're not okay with doing that again, man holding a coin. So Potentially with father wounding, this could be with toxic men in their life. This could be you not having boundaries with toxic men in your life. A parent, a partner that shouldn't be in your life. A grandparent, there may be addiction, intergenerational stuff that you've worked through that now your child sees that you are struggling with, but you have not healed. So they want you to make sure that you are doing that healing work so that they don't so you don't create a pattern for them where they are then reverse parenting you like they're coming back to be an authentic genuine and happy child all right so that is what i have for you for this week for Win wednesday as i mentioned if you'd like to book a personal reading you can do so via the link in my bio if you'd like to work with me in a fertility healing program you can also check that out in the link in my bio or shoot me an email and we can chat about what your options are I hope to see you next time. Make sure you're subscribed and following along. Take care. Bye.